Hi, this is Keith. Welcome to How to Build Your Own Home. We're going to talk about stages. It's a big topic I've been bringing up a lot. A lot of my students are asking me this question. How do I build in stages? What, is it, what does it mean to build in stages? I just had a student uh, message me a couple of days ago building in Texas, and they want to build kind of a U-shaped home, you know who you are, and a casita, a detached casita. Which one should I do first? Should I get rid of the casita and go with the second floor? And should I go, but I'm afraid of building that big of a home. And I think that's the big issue right there is you know what you want. You know all the square footage you want, but trying to put that all in one big home at the front is kind of hard. It's harder to finance. Uh, it, it's harder to do it in stages. And so I want to talk to you about stages. This client here is a really smart client of mine. He's doing this in stages. He's not necessarily doing a casita first and then a larger home after that. He's actually chunking away at the cost of the build incrementally. So the first thing he did is buy the land. Came up here, had me grub it, clear it, really give an imagination for what could be built. Then he got the architectural done. It's paid for. He got the structural engineering done. It's paid for. He got the fire fee, which was pretty, pretty hefty, $5,000, paid for. He's got the water fee, paid for. He's actually got the permit already paid for. He's got the septic system designed and paid for. He's got his geotech test pick and perk test and the septic system designed all done, paid for. So I think it's nine, almost eight or nine things all done. Okay. So we're talking close to $220,000, dollars paid for. No need to get a loan on all that, inf all that cost. Now here's the benefit. Now he can utilize that as what's considered down payment for the home. Just never pay for those things with cash. Pay for them with a check. That way you can document that, yeah, I paid for this. This is actual value that I can trace, that I can track, that I paid for. And you go to the bank with the budget, which you can get at howtobuildyourownhome.com, and you get it all ready, take it to the bank, and wow, it's all clean. This is great. That's what they like to see. That's building in, 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 in stages where you can either chunk away at the cost so that when you're ready to build, you know that you've taken that total debt cost down as low as you possibly can before you start to build. Or you build in stages where I'm gonna build a small little casita first or small little house, and then I'm gonna do an addition to that later or vice versa, the larger home and then a casita. A lot of people are thinking like this because they've got their boomer parents all retiring and they're moving in. They're trying to take care of larger family needs. You're gonna see this to be a real big issue in the coming years. The boomer generation does not completely retire until 19, about seven to eight years from now. How do I know? Because I'm the tail end of that boomer generation. I'm the youngest member of that boomer generation. And so when that generation finally retires, uh, you're gonna see for the next seven to 15 years, even more than that, the next 20 years, as that generation starts to get into their 80s and 90s, they're gonna need caretaking or family support or family assistance. So the dynamics of housing is going to change. It's already starting to change. I've seen more and more people thinking about how can I do this in stages? How can I build this for family, mom, dad, whatever? And how can I build that for my needs as well? That's what a lot of people are thinking. So this house, we're gonna finally break ground on it. Here's what the, what's really cool about it is the client actually was able to save enough money for the foundation. So that's gonna be out of the budget as far as the lender is concerned as well. So we've been able to chunk away a ton of money against the total cost of this home. The budget's ready. We break ground and finish off the, the foundation dig this weekend. And I've already given the concrete subcontractor to, the okay to start. And most of the snow is, is gone. So hopefully it doesn't snow anymore. So we'll give some posts on this. That's gonna be a beautiful cabin up here in the mountains, uh, Pine Valley area. I love building in this area. And I'll give you a lot of posts on this. And we're gonna do a lot of interesting technology with this home as well. So stay posted, stay tuned. Again, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home.